This is the story of how I raced in my first half marathon. Never thought I could, never thought I would, till I realized that I was created to run. Therefore, whether or not I believed it, I am a runner. And you are too. Hi friendships, it is our long run day today and that means I have to get ready for a long run. These are my Adi Zero Boston 12 shoes. This is what I'm actually gonna use on race day. Then we've obviously got my Garmin watch. This is the Approach S70, which is actually meant for golf, but it also tracks other sports, which is really great. I just love having a Garmin watch with me when I run. I don't just want to share with you how I began running or this vlog about the Sydney Half Marathon, though I will share it with you. But I hope you can also consider this video as the beginning of your own running journey. Why? Because I'm going to share with you the four things I did and you most definitely can do to believe that you yourself are a runner. But in order for me to tell you the story truly and in totality, we gotta take it back. The situation is a global pandemic, super lazy, very much not fit. Enter Abby who eventually became my workout buddy. After a few weeks of training for fun, she decides to impulsively sign up to the virtual Boston Marathon. Marathon, 42K. And naturally, as every workout buddy does, I signed up with her. Here we go, confirmation. Mm -hmm. So we go at it. Day one. It's grueling. We're live. We just finished. 18K for the first time. It's tiring. It's fulfilling. My body was definitely not physically ready for this. Oh my god. So I brought together all of the books that I read during this time. Gathered the mantras that I could say while I was running. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I even talked to my therapist. It's not my game. It's something you're having fun with. That's right. Um, but it's nice to have goals. Because it's nice to have goals. But don't be afraid of not making it. And the goal is to be happy with it. Yes, you're right. The goal, it's an experience. And to see also how far you can go. And she was right. I signed up to this thing for fun. Why am I not treating it? as something I'm doing for fun. Who am I even trying to compete with? The belief that I do not have the capacity. Here and now, I learned that in order for me to become a runner, I had to think like a runner. So this next time around, yes, it's a half marathon, but I wanted to do it at a quicker pace. I didn't want to just run. I wanted to run fast. And my confidence in setting this goal for myself was only there because I was able to run that first marathon, because I was able to give myself a challenge and achieve it. So whatever the challenge is in your life that you've already done before, that you can look back and say, if I did that, I can do this. Hold on to that thing. Because if you want to start running, those things are very much necessary to help you in building the confidence to do hard things. It's so encouraging that after two and a bit years, Abby and I, find ourselves in the same place, excited to run again, together. Okay, game, yards. Let's go, long run. Wow. You can't see us at all. We just went up a hill that we usually <laughs> walk. Progress. <laughs> we are. We're at nine. Nine kilometers. One hour. More to go soon. Oh, no light at all, but we are done. <laughs> okay, that's our long run. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is another beautiful day of our training week and it is strength training day. I actually really do love these sessions because they are lower in intensity, but they have dramatically changed the efficiency of my training program. It's getting hot in here, so let's go. This is the typical look. I see my coach is arriving now, but I want to do a quick what's in my bag or like my essentials for the gym. Recess yoga mat. These are the Shox headphones for listening to music. Because 
I sweat. I've got chalk when we do lifting, water, and then the gym. And then we have the coach. Essentials. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is a track day today. I love these days because I am able to train with my coach, Coach Annie, in person. It's so fun because I'm also able to train her with her other athletes. And I gotta focus now on driving because I need to be there in two minutes and I'm not two minutes away. See you in a bit. This is my coach. Hi! <laughs> She's the reason why I can run the way I run because no. she inspires me <laughs> every day. <laughs> Second thing you could do to find the runner within you is to surround yourself with runners. I think there's no better way to develop an identity than to place yourself in a community of people who believe and do the same thing that you want to believe and do. Without the people that have ran alongside me in this journey to becoming a runner, I would not have woken up these mornings, ran those extra kilometers, signed up for these races, definitely not. It was super helpful for me to get coaches like Coach Shara and Coach Annie, to book sessions with them, to run with Abby. Having my parents at home knock on my door and say, let's go for a run. Oh my gosh, life changing. We all know the saying, misery loves company, but so does accomplishment. So find yourself a workout buddy, find yourself a team to join, find yourself a coach that's gonna push your limits. And I tell you, <laughs> you will discover a whole new love for the act of running. Hello! We've got our little workout set up here. We're going to be doing an easy run. So every single week, I have two easy runs which are from 30 to one hour long. While we're running today, I'm actually testing out my running playlist, which consists of a lot of 80s songs and songs that are 180 BPM or around that BPM. We just finished our easy run. I did a 30 minute run. I honestly am very excited for this run for the first time in, in a while. I think coming into it, I was really reluctant. At first I was gonna do a marathon and then I just decided to do the 21 because I was just assessing. I have a cutoff time, which is 2.30 which means I have to finish the race in two hours and 30 minutes. And if I don't, then I'll be disqualified or like I won't finish with a medal. And it's just so sad to like go all the way there and to not complete the race, you know? I was really nervous for like not finishing and I was nervous to even vlog because what if the end of this vlog is me not finishing and I would be really disappointed and I feel like people would also be disappointed in me. So I was really nervous about that. But as I just stuck to my training and kept consistent with my runs, even if I had days where I missed out, like just getting back up again. Sooner or later, I was able to see improvement. And this last week I had a long run, which was 17 kilometers. And I was able to 
do that pretty well and I was like happy after that I'm getting excited and I'm getting pumped but again not overconfident because I still need to be cautious I still need to be disciplined I still need to pray that the Lord sustains me because you never know what conditions may arise on the day itself but okay gonna go now flying out bags in the bag dropping me off So every time there's a marathon, there also is an expo, which is basically where you pick up your bib, and you get to meet people, and we were actually invited um, to this marathon by Coach Rio de la Cruz, who has been doing races with us ever since we were like, I was, I think I was nine, like the night first race with him, so he is going to take us around and show us something that he's been working on for so long. So we're so excited that he's part of this and we're so excited to be part of something that he's part of. This is the only time I really got to sit down and talk to you. Tonight we're going to be doing some race preps. I'm going to be finishing my playlist for the run. And I'm going to be preparing the things that I need to run for tomorrow morning because I'm going to do like an acclimatization run, which is a run that you do to feel the weather, feel the terrain. And I'm just going to relax. And traveling is just hectic in general, but I'm glad that we're here. I'm so happy to be here. Like, I'm so happy to be here. And I'm excited to eat this pizza in front of me because... Ah. I mean, how can you not get excited? A delicious pizza! Hey... This is my first real run race. So I did the 42k two years ago but that was virtual no setup no people no finish line virtual and the last time i did a race like this where there's you know an expo and there are banners and there are people and there's the race bib it was so long ago i was probably like 14 15 years old maybe 16 years old 334 that's Eight years ago. So naturally, I will be nervous. Doing races for me back then was clockwork. I knew what I needed to eat in the morning. I knew the mindset I needed to be at. But this time around, it's a little bit different because this is a goal I set for myself. It's not something I'm just, I'm joining my siblings and doing. It's not something my parents told me I should do. It's like when an accomplishment that you want to achieve is your own there is more pressure to to get it done well because it's not imposed by anybody else it's like you have to own it if you're going to decide to do it you decide to do it like with your whole heart so i, th I think it's just coming to me that that realization that like if i fail on sunday it's nobody else's fault but my own and if I do well on Sunday, which is also just as overwhelming, it's it's a success that I can own. And that's so amazing. Anyway, all of that to say, I couldn't sleep because I realized I was nervous. And then I remembered that a few days ago, I actually had lunch with my ninang, Sally. And she reminded me that the Bible is God's letter to us. How beautiful is that? Like, it's his word. So I'm so happy that the hotel room has a Bible. Because I do have a Bible app on my phone. But it's different to read, you know, a physical Bible. So I'm reading Psalm 5 and it says, But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy and spread your protection over them. That those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. That all those who take refuge in him rejoice, and I have to take refuge in him. Okay, I have to sleep now. 
we have an early run tomorrow morning. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Pray for them during the race. Oh. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is my seventh marathon. Seventh. And daddy's gonna pace me. How many marathons have you done? How do we know that you're even trustworthy? This is my 13th marathon. Really? Yeah, I didn't finish one. <laughs> because I paced mom then halfway through, then I quit now because I couldn't. This is my preparation. Oh my god! Of course, different brands, and then everything's here. Boom! Ah, this one I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Ba bam! There you go, all ready, all set, and a new Adi Zeros that I'm gonna Adios. use for the first Adios time. Adios Pro. For the first time. When did you start marathon running? At the age of forty-five. So how long ago was that? 13 years ago. What's on your arm? This is to test my glucose level and I'm part of a research right now, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a guinea pig. <laughs> so actually I did because I snuck out to the guy in the booth. Nobody was going to him. <sighs> How has your race prep changed from 45 to now? I don't know, there's a bit of complacency because you've done so much and then you realize again you regret that there is no way you can fast track. A process you have to go through it so <sighs> what hasn't changed though is you always have to cry out to the Lord <laughs> that you need help yeah which is the last letter of marriage is a marathon oh my gosh yes they have a new book well, of course right there Mama. where is it don't always talk about this end never rule never out never rule out Divine intervention. Divine intervention. <laughs> Never rule out divine intervention. Why would it be by N? N, no, because M A R A T H O N stands for something. Every chapter of our book has each one as like a chapter heading. So we've run marathons around the world, oh. and the lessons we've learned training, oh, racing, and recovering are all here. Mm. And hopefully, you get inspired to run your first marathon after you read this. Quiet, bad. Link in the description if you guys want to buy the book. So I got, uh, no, I got FOMO because they were all preparing. So now I'm going to prepare with them. Number three, look like a runner. If you can't perform, Japorm. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest here and say that there's nothing that excites me more than having a new cute outfit to go outside and run. Or, oh my gosh, I have this new watch I wanna try and I wanna see how it works. I have these new headphones, I wanna try this new playlist. Building up the gear is just like so much fun for me every time I enter into a new hobby. And mind you, you don't have to get the exact same things that I use when I run. I'm just sharing with you guys my favorites. But whatever it is that you can add, you know, to the getting ready process, to the putting into your bag, it reinforces the identity that you are creating. A runner wears this. A runner uses this. A runner listens to this. A runner looks like this. Hello guys and welcome to getting ready for a marathon with Hannah. First thing you need is a race bib because if you don't register, you can't run it. So if you want to get inspired to run a half marathon or a marathon, register in Amuna. I would be wearing my shades. These are my Rudy Project shades. It matches my race belt. And this is a beautiful pair because it doesn't move when I run. For the running, I'm going to be using my beautiful and used Boston Adi Zeros Roctane electrolyte capsules. This is my flip belt, so I will be putting it on here with its essentials, so gels. These are the squeezy energy gels, and I have I have one that's raspberry, 
and it doesn't have any caffeine and one that's lemon and this has caffeine for my audio i'll be wearing my shocks open run pros look at how beautiful this is and the color is stunning this is lip balm with spf so i'm gonna put this also inside my race belt this is the color scheme for tomorrow and then of course the shoes can be their own thing which is a beautiful white quick break because we're gonna eat some dinner and we're trying to eat early so that we can also sleep early and we pray amen amen can you tell the viewers why we run why do you run why do you torture yourself so i can enjoy wine true training for a marathon or any other race or just a run allows me to have my peace and quiet i actually don't run with any music so i'm able to just zone in to just hearing myself and then time of reflection with the lord i really enjoy that time. why do you run hannah you're not even supposed to run hmm? it was never your intention to run this you just wanted to go to sydney no i just wanted to go with you guys <laughs> I have a long time with Hannah. And you said I couldn't come if I don't run. Nice. And we're so thankful to Coach Rio, who is part of the Sydney Marathon. And he trained us from the very start, way, way back, many, many years ago. When he was still charging 500 pesos per run. <laughs> to run with me, Newpy. And now, look at this. Grab it. Okay, we're gonna eat now. Bye. Final preps. Just shrug. Here. And then my socks already prepared. I could put here. These are just some things I don't want to have to think about, you know, that's why I'm kind of setting it up here. Salted caramel protein one. I don't know which one I'm going to do, but I'll just put both of them here for options. We seeing an extra shirt in my bag, just in case. Wake up, go to the shower, whatever, change, wear this. Wear my shoes, vitamins, put sunscreen, built headphones. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty much set. I will be the first to say that I love thinking and overthinking and planning and listing and journaling and overthinking <laughs> that I forget to act. At the end of the day, you can think like a runner. You can surround yourself with runners. And you can look like one, but if you don't actually go out there, put one foot in front of the other and run, you will never truly understand what you were created to do. What happened? 
The music is turned on. That's how you know we're gonna do this. 15 kilometers. So, last push. On track for sub two. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go! And that is the vlog! I had such a beautiful time preparing and running this race. I consider this little video a love letter to running. I've learned so much becoming a runner. I look forward to all that it's gonna shape me to be still. Running a race, beating distances, even if you're tired, continuing on. We were all designed, created to run. We were all designed, created to move forward, to progress, to challenge ourselves and to find accomplishment in beating those challenges, in succeeding. And my favorite verse ever, Hebrews 12, verse one. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay down aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking to jesus the founder and perfecter of our faith running is like life itself letting go of bad habits of bad beliefs that you are not able that you are not capable and running the race why because it was already set before us by the creator himself and i just love that picture of running alongside jesus in this race that i call life running is what has been able to teach me to keep on going i would just like to thank a lot of people for making this possible rudy project for just gearing us up with the best possible shades adidas for clothing me in the most functional yet cute clothes thank you so much to smart for keeping us connected even if we were abroad their roaming services are so fast and so easy to sign up for when traveling my go-to definitely thanks so much to gatorade of course for just keeping us hydrated keeping us electrolyzed <laughs> is that a word electrolyted standard insurance i cannot thank you guys enough for covering us with travel insurance guys embarking in an international race you always have to know that as an athlete you are protected in case anything happens so i'm just so happy that we have the safety net that is standard insurance of course i'd like to thank coach rio from run rio for making all of these things possible my parents and i had the best experience being welcomed by the sydney marathon group last but of course not the least i'd like to thank my parents they're the reasons that i run this race that we call life is not worth it without you guys running alongside me. Thank you for getting me up in the morning. Thank you for encouraging me to sign up for this marathon. Thank you for getting all of the support that we needed in order to run this race. And congratulations on your runs. Dad, you finished the marathon, the full marathon. They did the full, I did the half. My dad ran his race, he paced with my mom. He finished, sadly my mom did not finish but she went until the 38th kilometer. It's still running 38 kilometers. She realized that she actually didn't have the right nutrition and didn't prepare properly for her race this time around. But mom, I still commend you for getting back up again, running again after that traumatic experience of having to drop out and, you know, taking this as fuel for your next upcoming races. And thank you for reminding me 
that at the end of the day, the glory all goes back to God himself. Oh my God, I completely forgot. We are doing a giveaway. As I was editing this, I realized that this whole giveaway portion actually didn't have any audio. So I'm redoing it. We're gonna have two winners, one guy, one girl. That's only because I have two different sizes. Shoe size, why yeah. Obviously, since there are two winners, each winner gets one each, you understand. So we've got number one, some bottles from Gatorade. Then you just squeeze and the water just... These are super helpful for training. Some towels because... Of course, right? if you're like a normal person. The book of my parents, their newest book, Marriage is a Marathon, which is super important in building the mind of a runner. Here you go. A Garmin running watch. So this is the Garmin Forerunner 55 GPS running smartwatch. This winner will also be getting a uh, race belt. These are super essential. This one is from Shox. And it's a running belt that while you're running, you can keep your phone and whatever nutrition you need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cannot run without shades. Especially in the Philippines, the heat is insane. These are the Rudy Project Yonder and Casey shades. And last but of course not the least, we've got shoes. So this is in the size 7.5 US for women's and this is the Adidas Switch Forward running shoes. They're super comfortable for everyday running and they're so beautiful as well. So I super love this shoe. It's a stable in my closet for sure. Then in a bigger size, we've got the Ultra Boost 20s. These are in the size 10.5 US for men's. And I mean, look at these shoes. If you saw these shoes, I feel like you'd also definitely start running. All right, so those are all of the giveaway items for whoever wins this giveaway. We have two winners again, one with a 10.5 shoe size and one with a 7.5 shoe size. And also, I just hope that this encourages you to go out and go run. What are the mechanics? We gotta talk about that, okay. <laughs> Super easy, first in the comments, please do share with me your name and your Instagram handle so that I can message you to find out your address and that you know that you won. Number two, make sure that you are following my Instagram and of course the Instagram of our sponsors. Number three, the last thing is just talk to me. You know, I'd love to know why you want to start running or continue running and which of the four points that I shared here in this video would you like to apply to your running practice? Question mark. That's it. Use the hashtag Takbo with Hannah so that I know if you are sending in an entry or if you're just commenting for fun and I would love to see your guys' entries and I, I'm so excited to send these things over to you. I'm actually running a marathon in three weeks! <laughs> so I would love your guys' support just online when I post content. I'm really nervous about it because I haven't trained as much as I hoped. I actually had um, an overtraining injury but it's coming. And what is it? It's the Boston Marathon. <laughs> this is the virtual medal that I got in 2021. And now I'm gonna do the real Boston Marathon happening April 15. So I'm just really inspired by your guys' comments of being inspired by the content that I make. And I wanna continue doing this. And that's why I signed up for another marathon. Really excited to come and do that and i hope that my dedication in doing another marathon may encourage you to run another race whether it's 3k or 5k or 10 or 21 or a marathon i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video if you're here still to the end you're a real one you're an og and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye